Russia has reached a major milestone in the development of its NV.17 hybrid helicopter. According to Fighter Bomber, the project has advanced to the technical design phase, following the completion of preliminary and draft design stages. Developed by Helibureau, the NV.17 is a medium-class helicopter designed for multiple roles, including cargo transport, passenger operations, and fire support. Its first flight is scheduled for 2027. Equipped with a hybrid power plant and a combined control system, the NV.17 is built for efficiency and versatility. It can operate for up to 7 hours on a single fuel reserve and cover approximately 50 kilometers in just 7 minutes. With retractable landing gear to enhance aerodynamics, the helicopter is also outfitted for combat missions, featuring external pylons and rocket launchers for reconnaissance and close air support. This new model is designed to complement Russia's existing fleet, filling the gap between lighter helicopters like the ANSAT and heavy-duty models such as the Mi-26. The NV.17 offers greater capacity than light helicopters without the operational constraints of larger aircraft. Its design shares similarities with the Mi-17, a proven workhorse in both transport and military roles, and it competes with international counterparts like the American UH-60 Black Hawk and European NH-90. Russia is also modernizing its helicopter fleet across multiple categories. Attack helicopters, such as the Cobb-52M and Mi-28NM, have received upgrades to avionics, targeting systems, and weaponry. The Cobb-52M now supports the LMUR missile, while the Mi-28NM features enhanced engines and radar systems for improved combat performance. Transport and utility models are undergoing improvements as well. The Mi-26T2V heavy lift helicopter now features modern avionics and navigation systems, with deliveries to the Russian military starting in 2023. Meanwhile, the Mi-38T, designed to replace older Mi-8 and Mi-17 models, boasts increased payload, extended range, and updated avionics. These developments come amid significant challenges for Russia's helicopter fleet. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has resulted in the loss or damage of at least 61 Cobb-52 helicopters, contributing to an estimated 10% reduction in the overall fleet. These losses have affected operational capabilities, including close air support and electronic warfare, as Ukrainian air defenses and targeted strikes on airbases have taken a toll. Despite these setbacks, Russia's efforts to modernize its fleet and introduce new models like the NV.17 highlight its commitment to strengthening its aerial capabilities for both civilian and military operations. The coming years will reveal how these advancements impact the nation's ability to navigate the challenges of modern warfare.